a man and his chest freezer. So today, guys, I thought I'll make a video to tell you all about my chest freezer. So if you're tempted to do the same at home, you know what to do. So first of all, I have had first a small freezer, but I decided to treat myself and I got myself a proper double size chest freezer. So that makes me extremely happy, very comfortable. I can sit in there. I do my interviews in there. It's really comfortable. So um, let's go around and explain to you what's happening with the chest freezer. So first of all, um, the electricity. So I use a timer. This way I get, I keep it plugged in for about, about two hours, two to three hours uh, every 24 hours. So that's plenty to keep the water temperature. I like to have it at five, six degree. Uh, so just above freezing and that's, that's beautiful. So I can stay for, for a while. If it's two degree, one degree and completely frozen, I stay two, three minutes. But if it's six degree, I said half an hour today, so I really enjoy enjoy that. Um, so you can just play with it, but um, very important, make sure you unplug it. So really write it on your chest freezer, make sure you, you just out of safety, just to uh, um, keep it safe. So um, here is what it looks like. What do I have? I have a, a thermometer just to check, check what the temperature. And then I um, put some Epsom salt. It's really nice, makes it a silky. silky. That's, I put about a bag of Epsom salt. I like it in, um, in the chest freezer. And I put a few drops of uh, food grade hydrogen peroxide. That's just to keep the water clean. And then I use a swimming pool net whenever I have people here so that um, keeps it nice and clean. And yeah, after that, I made sure I have access to the grass whenever I need to uh, drain the water. That's pretty much it. I don't have any filtration system yet. I'm thinking about it. But for now, that's what we have. All right, guys. Enjoy.